Not all tricks are just about setting the balls up in the right place. Some, as we shall now see, rely heavily on the actual ability of the player performing the shot. Most of the 15 featured in this next section are extremely difficult indeed, so it's no surprise to learn they are titled Skill Shots. Our 25th trick shot on the run doesn't require any setting up at all. Simply try to pop the red ball while it's still moving, like this. In slow motion, we can see how the white catches up at the black spot, cannoning both balls into the corner pockets. The formation of the balls looks easy in crossroads, but potting the four reds in one shot actually offers little margin for error. From this angle, notice how the last yellow travels almost four lengths of the table to complete the trick. Toppling the golf peg from between the balls in teed off is extremely difficult. Let's watch from overhead. It's almost too fast to notice, but if we watch again in slow motion, we can see that the white jumps back slightly before surging forward to the tee. The aim of the ricochet is to pop the eight ball after skittling the reds, something like this. All five reds should be cannoned out into the center of the table as the cue ball spins its way down the channel to the black. Along the same theme as Crossroads, the five pocket scramble goes one step further and pots the black as well as the four reds. You need to play with a lot of screw and side to get the white to fizz back like this. Speed is of the essence in our next trick shot, the machine gun. Trying to pot four balls before the black in the same pocket like this requires lightning quick reflexes. Watch in close up as Jason fires in the reds without pausing at all. And again from overhead. If attempting to play the trick shots we've seen so far gives you a nasty headache, the backflip is the perfect shot for you. It is possible to spring an aspirin into a glass of water like this by striking the cue ball hard at the cushion, seen here from above. It's definitely worth watching again in slow motion. Normally, from the position found here in the squeeze, it would be impossible to pot the eight ball. By pushing through the white with plenty of right hand side, however, incredibly the black squirts straight along the cushion to the pocket. Watch again in slow motion. Trick shot 30. Three once again pots three balls in numbered order. We call it frozen out and it works something like this. The one ball clips off into the corner, sending a white along the cushion to pot the blue two in the opposite pocket. This just leaves the red three to complete a very impressive trick. Our next four shots highlight some great two-player tricks, starting with the classic double bubble. Brilliant! The two cue balls meet exactly in the center before bouncing back to the corner pockets. One player only needs to apply side spin in the zigzag to ensure the whites don't collide on the bays. A sound knowledge of the angles also helps to pop the reds off two cushions. 
Continuing in the style seen in Double Bubble earlier, the next trick shot is even harder. Potting the whites like this truly is a skill shot. A very fine touch is required to nail this next trick, the time bank. Watch as Jason deftly double kisses the yellow into the center. The initial cut is so thin, the yellow hardly moves at all before the white returns from the cushion to finish the job. A solid understanding of the backspin stroke is useful when attempting to pop the three reds and the black in screwball. Drawing the white backwards like this ensures the eight ball is potted cleanly as the reds are dispatched to the far corners. The last of our skill shots, the delayed ricochet, takes the variation we saw earlier a stage further. By spinning the striped ball on the paper, the professional is still able to pop the black. In close-up, notice how the side applied to the 10 allows it to really fizz down the cushion. <laughs> 